Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Stardew Valley. In the last episode we just kind of did a lot of stuff around town, got to know a lot of people better, did a bunch of cutscenes. It's going to rain all day tomorrow once again. You love to see it. Spirits are very happy. They'll do their best to shower everyone with fortune. Okay, I think I have decided we are going to go to the, go to the Skull Cavern. I almost said, I think I said Skull Mines yesterday. Which is coming soon, and that means your farming operations will be coming to a halt. No crops grow in winter unless you're lucky enough to have a greenhouse. But there's still plenty to do. More next time. Speaking of which, we should be getting our pumpkin tomorrow, I think. Fear I'd give this recipe I had lying around. Uh, wait, give you this recipe I had lying around. Try not to burn it. Got fried eel. Epic. Something else? Uh, hello. Thanks for helping me clear out those monsters. I'm not scared at all, but... It should make the mine safer for everyone else, right? Take this blueprint. Hope it doesn't make me obsolete. We got a geode crusher. It's funny because it absolutely does. It also has another meaning now that he just saw us with the love of his life just messing around. So that's also funny, I think. Uh, sweet. I'm going to do my chores here and then we're going to get started on the day. We need to get something started at the at robins and then we also need to where's my other cow there it is it didn't even leave yet and we also need to go to the skull mines so that's the plan got a supply crate here super meal plus 40 max energy plus one speed that's actually gonna be really good for the mines funnily enough oh my god okay well, wasn't expecting that. Also, we do have some pumpkins. Oh boy, this is a very fruitful day indeed, isn't it? I didn't know the beets would be up this soon either. Well, look at that. Got some more pumpkins, so we will be able to donate that to the bundles. And then, of course... Hold on, grab these down here as well. We got these. Sweet gem berries. Oh boy. Are those good? And I got a gold one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Three bombs. Neat. Okay. Ah, do I do that today? Because I did want to go to the skull mines or the skull caverns. Might end up having to delay it with how much stuff I've been finding. Did I get two out of that? No, just one. Make some oil out of it. All right. Well, oh, okay. I still have some more chores to do. Hold on. And hey, don't we have. A duck? Here it is. Duck. Wink. You love to see it. Okay. We have until 9.30. What order should I do this? Wait, did we not need pumpkins for the... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, no. It was literally just for the animal bundle. Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. Why did I think I needed pumpkins? Well, regardless, can I? Okay, you cannot put sweet gem berries in there, interestingly enough. Put all the pumpkins in there. Be the best use of our time. Uh, put some beets in these. And then sell the rest. Okay, so sweet gem berries are worth yeah, a little bit amount of money. A little bit of money. Little, little, some money. Just some money. Let's sell pretty much everything else. Uh, okay. How am I going to go about this? Well, I'm going to sell the gold and the silver one. This one I'm going to keep, and that is extremely, extremely important. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go ahead and go and do it today, since we already have other stuff on our things. I'm going to go ahead and get everything I'll need if I do want to go to the mines. So, we'll be prepared. I'm going to craft a few more mega bombs as well, because we have more than enough materials to make those. I, oh, didn't realize how much copper ore we had. But it does take coal to make... Yeah, to make a cherry bomb, unfortunately. And coal is not something that we have a surplus of, unfortunately. Cool. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, 
how to do this. I'm gonna grab wood and stone. I'll head to Robin's. Yeah, I'll do, you know what? I'll do the sweet gem berries thing some other time because that's not on a schedule at all, really. Pam's not even there yet. Look, we're saving time, actually. Um, and I'm going to head over to Robin's real quick. Hello, Robin. So, construct farm buildings. I hear you have a deluxe coop. I don't have enough wood. Wow. I really didn't expect that, if I'm honest. How much is a shed? 1,500 and 300 wood? That would be worth it. Uh, we might uh, work on that over the winter, getting a lot of that ready. Yeah, we have to start looking at other things to make. A uh, stable would be nice sometime soon. Slime hutch just for fun, really. Just to show you what it's all about. Could use a mill. Of course, the cloth is stopping it. Okay. And the next uh, house upgrade was 50,000, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, now that I know that I need more wood, I'm going to be able to use that gold axe, which I, oh boy, can get right now, I suppose. Yonk. Golden axe. Second golden weapon. Or tool, rather. I know I didn't bring any bars to upgrade anything, so I guess that'll wait until a little bit later. But hey, straight on to the bus stop. Get a ticket. We're gone. That was interesting. <laughs> okay. I guess that shows you to not grab the ticket from behind. Yeah, I'm just going to go straight in because I want to spend as much time in here as I possibly can. I guess I'll grab a coconut for Demetrius, if that's even still going on. It is, but it's the final day, and I doubt we're going to get it. So, oh well. Hey, it's fighting time. So let's see. I'll put these two here. Those are my speed buffs. I got a crab cake for a defense buff, actually, which is really nice. The spicy eel does give you the luck buff, though, and given today's a good luck day, I'll have a high luck run, I suppose. And so that's why I'm already taking damage. If I could, like, uh, just bomb it. Probably didn't need to use a huge bomb, but whatever. Knock out that other mummy. There's a lot of mummies on this floor. Not sure if I actually want to continue this run, because this is a pretty bad floor. Well, whatever. Get these. I'll bomb, like here. I want to get as deep as I can faster. Put one like there. Okay, well, I know we have the luck buff, but is it that good? Kill some slimes, get the chance to spawn a staircase a little bit higher. And of course they do often drop. Iridium, which is always a plus. Put a cherry bomb like here, here. Take damage from it, because why not? Nothing. This hurts, dude. What's that? That's just stone. This is unfortunate. See, this is going to happen a lot. And this is actually why it's a good reason to have stone, because I'm just going to... I've already dug so much up, though. Like, surely. I mean, it's the gambler's fallacy, right? I've already dug up so much. Surely that one of one of the next ones is going to be it, right? And that's uh, not how it works. None of those. Could kill this one for... Maybe he's got a staircase. Nope. Doesn't have a darn thing. This isn't good. It's already one. I'm on floor two. Wait, what? How long has that been there? That's not good. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, on particularly bad floors, I should just use uh, stone to make a staircase and zoom on out of there. Dwarf scroll four. God bless you. Now I just only need the dwarf scroll three. Man, that took a lot longer than I was hoping for to spawn. Interesting. Gotta remember that these things just have an absolutely humongous hitbox. 
Yeah, I'll take the damage. Who cares? Oop, not anymore. I suddenly care a lot. Wasn't expecting that. Lucky the time doesn't go when you're eating foob. And that should be fine. And a staircase spawned anyway. I'll knock out one of these guys. Well, is it only gonna be one? Time to not take any damage. I still, like, literally, like, obviously I'm coming here for Iridium, right? But, like, it is not an insignific insignificant reason to need uh, red cabbage seeds. I'm not doing this floor. Also, we got Yoba's thing. Uh, so apparently that actually negates the damage that you were going to take from the hit that activated it. And I didn't know that. I thought you would still take the hit, but it would just activate after that. Um, I'm gone. Out of here, dude. I don't do these wiggly floors. Least favorite thing on earth. This is a little bit better, at the very least. Not sure if the Frozen Tears is going to be worth it, if we're going to end up keeping that at all. Let me go kill that slime. Slime! Oddly enough, the Skull Cavern's really good for completing the slime uh, kill count thing. Because there's a, just an, a lot of slimes here, and they actually all drop good stuff. You don't need to hope you're going to get a special slime for that or anything like that. Oh, there we go crits. There are certain ways you can do like really good crit builds, but most people wouldn't recommend it because it's just, you know, compared to straight power, sometimes it's just not worth it. Uh, I think I'm just going to mega bomb this. Okay, bud. You came out of nowhere. Yeah, gone. I don't really care too much for the steel. Hey, there's a diamond though. Good lord. Oh boy, this armored bug coming up from behind me. A lot of enemies here. Y'all have life. Good lord. Diamond. We take those. Try and destroy all of the slimes, except without dying, though. Gonna be a try to be a lot better on clicking my food items this time. Because that was a big detractor from the other times I just like I'd be in a bad spot and I'd get flustered and die because I didn't click on my food items enough also if we could get a little bit higher in level in combat that would be nice as well from fighting so many enemies of course they still take so many hits I'm hoping there is one item that I'm obviously on the lookout for uh, anyone who's played Stardew Valley kind of knows what I'm looking out for. There's very, very many ways to find it, but one of the main ways is through a certain geode down here. I didn't have enough room for that uh, diamond. Good thing I didn't miss it. Yeah, we just have a lot of good stuff here. Um, I'm going to eat the crab cakes. Get that increased defense. Ooh. That idea, ugh, I forgot I had to. I don't need the fire quartz. That can go. We'll take this gold, though. Yoink. Alrighty. Don't have enough room for quartz. A lot of mummies again. Not a huge fan. See if I can't, like, knock out two of them at the same time. Yeah. Blow them up. Shh, didn't even have to, apparently. Two staircases. Beautiful. I was almost tempted to use a staircase there. Good thing I didn't. I should really be going for the enemies first. This is why there's a specific item that I want to get through a combat upgrade. That would be very nice for me. There's actually, like, no enemies in here. Hold up. Just bomb that for fun. Who cares? Yeah, and there's the staircase. Easy. Now we're schmoovin'. Although I have found zero pits up to this point, which is unfortunate. Because that really is one of the main ways you really get schmoovin'. Here we go. Like I said, iron I'm not too worried about.
Ugh. Is this one where there's going to be a staircase at the end? Floor 11, huh? Yep, it is that kind of floor. Get out of here, bro. I want the coal! That's all I'm here for. This floor again. Man, the quartz are actually useful because you can trade them for bombs, but I really don't know if they're useful enough to warrant grabbing instead of something else, you know. Fortunately, nothing. I should really check to make sure there's not just a staircase sitting out at the end of this. Okay, because a lot of these, like, minecart floors, you know, they'll do that. Sword that. Yo, farm totem. Okay, so I can stay here literally as long as I want. Look at that. Beautiful. And now I die. Good stuff. Before I find any staircase. Oh boy. Oh boy. Is uh, Each time I hear that noise, is that one of them spawning? Health. Got to keep an eye out for that. I know they, they can spawn staircases from infestations. Please. There we go. And we got a bomb. Should keep an eye on my health. I'll eat after this. Or will I die? Christ. It's just the range of damage they can do. It's so like, you take 15 damage from one hit. And then the next hit, you take 30, and it takes you by surprise, and you just die. That happens quite a bit to me. Luckily, they did drop a lot of bombs, so I'll be able to use a few bombs to get a little bit lower. I don't even know. Like, I'm probably not going to get low enough to where I'm going to be finding natural... Okay. Natural veins of iridium anyway. Like I said, iridium still isn't my absolute highest priority, so... Place that. Yeah, it's gonna hit me. Doesn't matter. Doesn't do too much damage to the player themselves. Nothing. Nothing! Oh boy. Geode. Knock both of you out. You have to place it in the spot. Wait, there's a hole here. Okay. Yeah, I'll take these and I'll go. Jump down. Six levels. Okay. Not bad at all. I'm going to heal after that one, though. And that's floor 20, so it's actually taking us into the places that have uh, some iridium. I believe it's floor 20, which is a funny way thing to say. I love saying it every time. Uh, blow up right there in the middle. Smack dab. Bats are fun to see because I do need to kill them for the... The kill quest. Areas infested. All right. Uh, so on that note, what am I throwing away? White algae. White algae. And see ya. I don't even mess with it. Don't even mess with it. Uh, cool. I just had trouble getting to the right thing. A lot of enemies here. I'm going to have to take them out for the best chance. Look at that. Didn't see too much treasure there, so I'm not worried about losing all that. That'll be juicy. Delicious. Emerald. Uh, sap can go. Slime at this point, honestly, can... Ugh. But slime's so useful in so many situations, you know? I could eat that other crab cake. Speaking of which, I should drink a uh, coffee. Because I'm pretty sure my speed buff is off. Yeah, from the coffee, at least it was. Yeah, I'll just eat that other crab cake for the... Whatever. Because I do want this aquamarine. Because why not? Beautiful. Ugh, purple mushroom. We do love purple mushrooms in this house. Which is why I'm going to blow it up. Nothing. It does actually destroy the mushroom. I wasn't expecting that. 
funnily enough. No room for the topaz. Not care sure if I care about that too much. Ooh, nice crit. Good stuff. Uh, try to get some of these rocks on top and that. And I didn't really. I love missing. Diamond! <gasps> Prehistoric floor! This is an iridium bat. I'm gonna die at this rate. Prehistoric floors look like this. Really cool. Uh, dinosaurs commonly spawn, as do iridium bats. Although I think the iridium bats are just spawning because of floor 25. They drop batteries, oddly enough. But they do also drop iridium. Uh, earth crystals, not really too useful. Just get rid of those. Shh. Took that straight to the face. Ooh. Is that something I haven't had before? Thought I would have had to kill him before he got his other attack off. Oh man, I have so many good items that I just can't get rid of. I only have one coffee. That's not worth a ton. Ah, Frozen Tear can probably go. Prehistoric Tibia, I've had that already. Rib is new. Can we keep that? Oh yeah, you can also find Fiddlehead Ferns here. That's something I know we haven't had either. Could eat the super meal, but it's so late that I probably wouldn't get the full effect out of it. Yeah, slime's gotta go. Prehistoric Vertebra. Love to see it. Yeah, these dinosaur enemies are some rare items, tell you what. Another rib. Got him. Ugh, my uh, Yoba activated again. I should eat. Like I said, we have all day, so I'm going to wait until the very last second to actually leave with the farm totem. Should be good. Uh, do I have a level? I have a level up in combat, I think, right? I think even if I don't, I have a level up in mining, so. I. Oh! Egg! Egg! Egg, dude. I can't get rid of my ribs. Can't get rid of my vertebra. I mean, I can, but I don't want to risk not getting them again. Oh, boy. Solar essence isn't too good, but it's what you use to make mega bombs. Literally not a single thing I want to get rid of. I've never donated rubies. Okay. Ugh. Ooh, dude. I should, uh, one thing I actually should do is actually put away my tools that I won't need for actually spelunking. Cave care can go. Why am I even asking this? Uh, I should put away, like, my hoe and stuff like that because it's not, in the end, not too useful for spelunking. Come on. Come at me. Yeah. So I think I will try to explore as deep as I can for this run because it seems to be probably one of the best runs we're going to have in a while until I get, like, really good mining and combat efficiency. Yeah, I know it's 12, but I have until 2. Because we are going to get that health or that energy refill. And that's what I'm relying on. There's probably more enemies up here, aren't there? No! This is unfortunate. Don't want to use up all my stone either, because I remember I still need it for construction. There we go. Oh, baby! Just, just just, slap a Mega Bomb right in the middle. Who cares? Who cares? Give it to me. Made 5,000 money just from that explosion alone. It's kind of nasty looking floor. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm not vibing with it. I almost threw that away. That would have been fun, wasn't it? Mmm. Issue. Just throw it out, and then I'll place the staircase, re-pick it up. Easy. 
It's like, why is it, why am I not holding my uh, sword? 1 p.m. And then I die to a slime. <laughs> Christ. Not having that happen, sorry. Not today. Ugh. This feels like he's taking a lot more hits than a lot of the others did. Probably leave at like 1.30. Just enough time for me to like organize my inventory. Which isn't... I guess too needed. I can always do that tomorrow. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. Gone. First time using a totem. Basically a teleport. And here we are. Just enough time to get into bed. Just organize the minimum amount, amount of my inventory real quick. Boom. Straight on in. So yeah, that's what a trip with the <laughs> forest totem looks like. Level 9 min mining, and we can make our own crystallarium. Level 8 combat, plus 5 HP, and we got a slime incubator. And explosive animo! That's right. I forgot about I don't know how I forgot about it, but I did. And we got even more money from mining. Oh, I didn't see the sweet gem berry one. Yeah, they're worth uh, 3,000 base. Remember, we bought them for 1,000, so you make a profit of 2,000 on them. Plus, I donated the gold star and silver star one. Gold star being a 1.5 multiplier, making that one 4,500 cold, which is crazy. Clear and sunny, perfect weather for Spirits Eve. The event will take place in Pelican Town between 10 p.m. and 11.50 p.m. Don't be late. I can imagine what that is. You can hear the spirits whispering. It's good humor. Oh boy, that was an adventure and we have dinosaur eggs baby we have a lot of stuff to donate thanks to that here's a vegetable from the little cut thank you for the potato <laughs> okay notice a chill in the air it could be the approach of winter or it could be the tingle of a dark specter here's to help us celebrate tomorrow here to help us celebrate tomorrow's festival the spirits eve come to town at 10 p.m if you'd like to participate and i just might wow we okay so Spirits Eve is coming up. So what do I need to do? It's kind of still sucks that this is our definite our second uh, rainy day since getting our fully grown pig and it's just going to be sitting here kind of useless in the meantime. I should try to fill this barn out with more. I just tried to milk my pig. I should try to fill the barn out with more barn animals cuz that's obviously going to be useful for us, but yeah. Um obviously I'm going to get this thing going for the deluxe one because getting the auto feeder in here with how many chickens and stuff we're about to have super helpful and we can just reap all of the profit wouldn't that be great oh let's test out our golden axe one two three four that's so quick and of course the next upgrade is going to be even crazier Got a few more crops scattered about here. Nothing too crazy. Oh, I do have the geodes still in my inventory, so... How do I do this? Why is it saying my inventory's full? Uh, okay. Guess I can't do that until I empty my inventory. How about now? Oh, because it wanted me to pick up the caviar before I threw those in. So now our sturgeon will continue to advance obviously of course you can notice the fact that they do reproduce so it's basically a free sturgeon every few days you can fish it out of there not that sturgeon are worth a ton of money compared to some of the other fish but say if you were to do that with something super incredibly expensive like a catfish then you could theoretically just keep growing catfish and selling the actual catfish instead of the caviar but the caviar does sell for a portion of whatever the fish that's in there is worth. So it's almost always worth it to just keep them in there. Okay, so the plan for today is going to be a lot of using this ridiculous amount of money that we have. And number one, we're going to... We could upgrade to the Iridium Pickaxe, funny enough. But 
I think I'll hold off on that. It's nice knowing that I don't really have anything left to buy that's going to specifically stop me from making progress anymore. Now it's all just going to be quality of life upgrades, basically. So I think I'll I'll go ahead and upgrade my still hold of gold just to get everything up to gold base. I'll pop the rest of my Omni Geodes. Donate stuff to to Gunther because we do have quite a few there. And then we will also go ahead and upgrade our Koop again. Alrighty. I'm just just curious, do you like Omni Geodes? You do? I wonder that seems like a love. That's a really super easy item to get him. Just in bulk, so. Maybe I'll remember that. That can be uh that can be his item that he always gets. Ooh, that's new. I just realized it's Friday, so we also can take a trip to the traveling salesman. Saleswoman. The traveling cart. And see if they have anything for us there that we need. And we know what we need. Ten gold. Good lord. That's pretty good. A lot of ore through that one, oddly enough. Well, on top of all that, I would like to upgrade to the gold hoe. And that'll make everything, I believe, except for... Well, actually, you know what? We still have the copper watering can, which we can upgrade. Not that it'll have too much of a use to us in the future, but... Just like a why not kind of situation. So how much do we have? Uh, bones are generally down here. Do have an egg? We have the fourth dwarf scroll. And then soapstone. One more dwarf, dwarf scroll. I'm very excited for that. And we got the sloth skeleton M. Don't know what that means. Note from Gunther. Well, this library has really become great thanks to your help. Thanks a bunch. That's a book now, I guess. <laughs> That's a book available for public consumption. I'm going to go inside. I just wanted a quiet moment. Aw. I mean, you know what? Vibe. Absolutely true. Love sitting out in the rain. Not in the rain, but you know. Uh, I got a few days until that becomes active. Uh, I need to go up top and get our deluxe coop started. Hello. I am soaked. Thank you for noticing. Uh, how about that big old deluxe coop arena, huh? I did realize I had 999 wood still in my... Uh, in my shipping, or not shipping box, but in one of my chests, so easy stuff right there. Uh, should have brought something up here for Sebastian, because I think I've only given him one gift so far this week. Let me see how we are for that. No, no, we've got given him twice. Two, two gifts. We've given quite a few people two gifts, actually, which is good. <laughs> you don't see that very often for me. And a lot of gifts given on the lower end, except for these four, unfortunately. Sandy's going to be really hard. I should make it an effort to start bringing up some of the flowers and stuff that we have every time we go to the desert and just drop it off with her. Because, uh, as you can imagine, she's very obviously a difficult person for. Giant dino egg. The entire shell is still intact. Wonder what we could do with that. Just, just wonder. Friday the 26th. We only have three more days of fall. I didn't even realize it. Yeesh. Um, anything here that I want to spend my ridiculous amount of money on? Get, might as well get the grass starter. Get some rice so we can just straight up make a Maki, Maki roll. The catalog would be nice. Just eventually. I mean, hold on. Well, we could get a couple of uh, spring saplings, couldn't we? Hmm... You know what? I'll hold off on that because there's something we can actually do with that in a little bit. And of course all the other stuff we bought. Along with bouquets to give to people that we want to romance, which will eventually be everyone. So don't worry about that. Cool. And just all the other stuff that we've sold to them. Funnily enough. You know what? I had another idea for what we actually need to do today. We need to go to the secret forest and you'll see why real soon so I'm gonna grab where did I put it right here my sweet gem berry I'm also going to put away all the stuff that we got from breaking open all the geodes I don't really need any of those nope keep that the rest can go 
and the <laughs> the giant skeleton I think I'll go ahead and put right here don't quite need that get these because I'm here uh, let's go ahead and make the Maki roll just so I have it boom made times cooked one beautiful you do love to see it I guess what else I could do is I could also buy the triple espresso uh, recipe that would work I was gonna sell the rest of these put this in here so that we can eventually take it and get it fixed up I guess I'll spend the rest of the day kind of as a gift giving day of sorts people love grapes have that working for us we already checked our crops and everything I'm pretty sure or did oh that's right I couldn't pick up the pumpkin because I had a full inventory wonk now we have a pumpkin I might as well just go ahead and save that for the keg it's worth so much so all right first of all what do you have for me tulip summer spangles coconut not looking great and the rare crow oh this will save me money might as well it keeps coming up and they're I'm pretty sure they stopped selling it in winter so might as well yoink you know so there's something we haven't done up to this point oh here's where all the mushrooms have been hiding of course something we haven't done up to this point is there's a statue over here and we've never talked to it before what does it say still searching for the sweetest taste we have the sweetest taste in our inventory sweet gem berry this is why you have to buy at least one of them and that gives you a star drop that energy bar is going wild now 372 it's strange but the taste reminds you of disco your maximum energy level has increased now it's actually kind of popping not gonna lie kill the slimes because why not or will I or will they kill me no uh so hold on we got a few crafting recipes 10 fibers for the grass starter just in case you accidentally mowed down all your grass it's an iron bar and two coal for five explosive ammo which is actually a really good deal tell you what so we're gonna be making a lot of that and we're gonna start bringing our slingshot into the place we got stone chests, which we'll need to make eventually this uh, farm computer is still here and until we get the dwarf gadget it's just straight up not gonna be available to us which kind of sucks oh yeah we have the geode crusher too we can just make that and we never have to go to Clint ever again to crush our geodes it's pretty cheap too I mean at this point you know most things feel cheap because <laughs> most things are in comparison to like what we have four four hits for one of these oh boy slimed on the first hit you'd hate to see it winter root wow <laughs> so you can just straight up get up winter root get a winter root in fall love to see it anyway I don't think I have really anything else to do at the moment I'm fairly certain that I did everything I said I was going to do today so at that point hmm could go out with some gifts we could go to Mar I was thinking about going to Marnie and getting some more animals but I don't see the purpose right now uh, they will give us more money but it's also like they're very hands-on that's the thing about animals that makes them a downside to crops is that you just you have to be with them every single day they constantly lose happiness and friendship if you don't pet them so there's a lot of uh, problems with that maybe I'll just cut down trees see if we can't get like level 10 foraging or something it's starting to look very even you can see how it plateaus one thing I am gonna do is I'm going to move a lot of the stuff that's in our chests into here because there's a lot of things that you can cook with that you wouldn't think so so uh, having all that in there will make a couple more options available to us as you can see just so many options 
uh, winter roots could go for roots platters. Uh, you, you never know. Also, specifically sardines to make Dish of the Sea. Interestingly enough. So it's like, it's worth having a little bit of everything in here just for cooking. And honestly, uh, we could use the room, so why not? All right, I think I'll call it on this day because I am not finding enough to do. I'm going to make some darn explosive ammo because it's very important. 30, maybe more, 50. It's, it's so good. It's so cheap. It's, there is a reason why you get it so late in the game. Uh, it is that good good, as the kids say. So I'm going to make sure I have plenty of that. That'll make exploring the skull mines so much easier. Uh, one thing I could do is try to like walk around and try to find panning spots because those are really useful. Uh, well, there's one that one item specifically that's really useful for that that we're going to keep an eye out for. Um, other than that, not really much more for me to do on this day. I guess I'll put the explosive ammo in here as well. Because why not? Got a bunch of geodes. We can make that geode crusher, actually. I don't have a lot of gold bars. Huh. I mean, I guess I did use a lot of them for whatever, but I don't want to be out of gold bars, so I'm going to make a few more. We're not going to need furnaces for much longer except for making money. So that'll be nice when we don't have to upgrade all of our stuff. But uh, Geode Crusher, two, two gold bar, 50 stone, one diamond. I feel like they think that diamond is very, very hard to come by. <laughs> for most of us, maybe, but not for me. One diamond of my six and Geode Crusher. What else did it say I could make? Stone chests? I'm not going to. Uh, it's really just an aesthetic thing. There's nothing special about the stone chest. Put it up here out of the way. We're not going to need it too often. But you know what? We do need it now. Let's say just... Requires a coal. Oh, that kind of sucks then. Never mind. <laughs> I need coal. Coal's important to me. What do we need to make uh, kegs again? Because I would like to start mass producing them, kind of. That's right, oak resin is the thing. That's a problem. I'm gonna... Ugh, I should make a bit of an oak resin farm. So I can get that going a bit faster than it is. In fact, that's just copper and coal to make... Or wood. To make a tapper, right? Copper bars and wood. I just be able to slap a few on right now. I don't know. I'll do that tomorrow if I really still feel like it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, I think next episode we're going to be finishing off fall, and then it's straight on into winter. So I'll see you all then, and goodbye.